Astrology and Magic How important is it to consider and practice? How is astrology viewed from a magical point of view? Is the influence of the planets on human life and the series of events really so great? Are there people who can avoid planetary influence or is it basically impossible? And can the power of the planets be compared to the power of the elements? Thank you in advance. There is no definitive answer to these questions. But let's try to consider them in more detail. As you already know, there are two main powers in this world, energy and information. Energy is the elements. It would be more accurate to say that the elements are the potency for the creation of energy. So energy is potency. And when that potency is present, it is possible to create absolutely any kind of energy, and this potency is all-encompassing, it can create any kind of energy or eliminate it, it can erase any kind of information or attract it, but this potency can't create it. The elements don't create information, but the planetary systems do. And here we have to understand the occult meaning of the planets. They are not just some celestial objects made up of chemical elements that have vibrations, frequencies, and so on. In occultism, planets are the keepers of certain kinds of information. They are transmitters of that information. Planets compress information, give it certain frequency characteristics pack it into a certain amount and thus manifest it, for example here on Gaia, on Earth. But only when there is enough energy can information manifest. If there is not enough energy, the information remains unpacked. So by controlling the energy of the particular person, we can calculate how he will be affected by this or that piece of information. The astrological influence of the planets has been calculated and verified over thousands of years. The system has been described. And if a person has a certain amount of energy, including the power of the elements, and he doesn't go beyond the limits that have been set, then the planets will influence the life of such a person in a similar way as described. However, if a person has even a small increase in energy, the planetary information can be erased or corrected. But when he has a decrease in energy, he becomes dependent on the influence of the planets. A person who is under the control of the egregorial system, who is not a pagan, who is not in contact with nature, who does not know how to work with the powers of the elements, is dependent on the planets, his horoscope is predicted. And it will come true in every detail. But if a person knows how to work with the elements, if he knows how to work with his energy, he can use that power and potency to create such an energetic potential within himself that any information, karmic, planetary or whatever, will be erased. So can the power of the planets be compared to the power of the elements? I would say no, they can't be compared. You can't put a sign of equality between them, but you can put a sign of identity, because the power of the elements determines the power of the planets. The power of the elements affects and changes the power of the planets. And if the power of the elements is there, the planetary power can change, but if it's not there, the planetary power becomes a constant. Yes, the planets do have an effect on human life, but this effect can be controlled. I understand why you have these questions. The thing is that there is a lot of information that comes from the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, from Thelema, from the Order of the Oriental Templars, from the Rosenkreuzers. They also developed this system and clearly expressed the idea that the power of the elements is the planetary power. 
есть сила планетарная. And it would be a mistake to say that they were wrong. They just looked at it from the other side. Do not forget that all of them were Judeo-Christians. And Judeo-Christians are deprived of the power of the elements. To them, the power of the elements is hostile. It comes from nature, from the original forces, from the titans, from the primordial gods. And we know that for this system, for the Judeo-Christian system, all the old gods are demons with whom it is strictly forbidden to come into contact. There is no way that those who are under the Judeo-Christian matrix can take the power of the elements from the primary source. Without a primary source of energy, they are forced to develop their own. They draw energy from one another, and to receive energy in this way, through energetic vampirism, they use the help of the planetary power, because information can rule energy. And so the understanding of how the planetary currents, the planetary informational currents, affect humanity, which is practically deprived of the right to use the power of the elements, becomes predictable, algorithmic, and calculable, it becomes clear and precise. And here it is not difficult to make a substitution between the concepts of power of the planets and power of the elements. After all, since the power of the planets can rule the power of the elements, then they are essentially the same. That makes sense, however, those who are more engaged in pagan practices, who know the Druidic and Slavic Folkhof traditions, not only do not depend on the power of the planets, but are able to calculate and control this power by increasing or decreasing the elements within themselves. They are able to erase unfavorable situations and to manifest favorable ones. Hence the answer to your question. It all depends on the tradition you are working in and the sources you are connected to. Man cannot live without nourishment, but he cannot live without information either. The planetary powers exist and they do have influence, but the extent of their influence is only determined by your will and skill.